Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone in between, welcome once again to a terrifying night of Scared and Alone. Uh, the only live and, I must say, very odd uh, paranormal investigation on the internet today. We are here coming to you from various places around America uh, with our usual uh, uh, panel of experts. And coming to us from New Orleans, Louisiana, it is our very own spectral Bob Ross, the gentleman psychic, Richard Lell Lillard. Richard Lell, how are you, sir? I am fine. Also, there is, we're under a tornado watch, so uh, <laughs> I'm fine. Right. So what, will we hear an air raid siren or uh, mm -hmm. something? Well, no air raid sirens, not, not, not for a while, but you might hear something. I don't know. Does New Orleans ever get? Tornadoes? I I don't know. <laughs> I'm about to find out. If I if I end up in the merry old land of Oz, then I'll let you know. I'll I'll send a hot air balloon or something. For you. Fantastic! <laughs> I'm glad to see you got your canvas started and uh, palettes at the ready. Oh, Brushes yes. sharpened. We have quite quite a quite an intriguing location. Fantastic. Well, locations locations layers yes layers layers we'll get to that soon coming to us from hollywood california it is a medium psychic and our very own good witch it's patty negri ladies and gentlemen patty how are you i am great happy to be here mm -hmm. um, yes we missed you last week how was las vegas las vegas was fabulous um I it was like the biggest windstorm they've had since like 1985. It literally blew me over. Things, but my car door would open and then something would be like three blocks down. But that's the excitement of Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Most everything in my car. <laughs> fantastic. I love the pictures you posted. It looked fantastic and really fun. Thanks. That's great. And coming to us from Massachusetts it is our own historical uh, custodian. She's been on other shows. Uh, many of the places she runs have uh, we have visited in past episodes, and uh, she's here with us tonight. It's Christy Parrish, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? How are you? I'm very good. I'm so excited for Courtney and our investigation of this building tonight. I'm ready to get to it. I understand you've been to this building before many times. Every Tuesday and Thursday. Because this, well, mm -hmm. we'll get to that in a second. But let's go first to our ghost bait, the bravest person in paranormal investigation. It is our very own Courtney Buckley, ladies and gentlemen. Courtney, how are you? I'm terrified, honestly. <laughs> Building huge, and I've been having things happen since before I got here. Once again, my stupid spirit box keeps turning itself on so it turned itself on five minutes away from here um and then when i was on the tour i was picking up some pretty strong things wow. um, but dean um i brought something for you because i'm concerned about you th th after last week okay. so just in case those flies make a reappearance we can swat them <laughs> that wait that's a spatula that's yeah. not even a fly swatter well it's I, a swatter. I, I, <laughs> you can't use a spatula as a fly swatter <laughs> for those of you missed last week's show i had suddenly in the middle of the show a bunch of flies show up in my lampshade five of them at least and uh since that time uh there's still one dead one there that i haven't cleared mm -hmm. but there's two dead in my bathroom uh one dead just hanging to my green screen cloth like he was just uh perpendicular to the floor like but dead and i don't know where the other ones are so uh, I, I apologize for my outburst, let's say. I uh, am not planning to leave the show anytime soon unless there is another event. And I, this is now a disclaimer. We are chasing paranormal entities on the show. It affects electrical fields. So we are not responsible if your computer goes, if your screens go, if your lights start blinking, if your robot vacuum starts up in the middle of the show like I did, or if a thousand flies suddenly show up <laughs> for no reason. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, oh, apologize. Dear. I apologize. We are back and we're here <laughs> tonight in Weymouth, Massachusetts at the old police station that is now mm -hmm. a family center and teen center. Uh, it was originally built in mm -hmm. 1932 and had been a police station right up until 1996. 
And in 98, they uh, see the funding to turn it into a family and youth center. And now a bunch of entities mm -hmm. uh, hang out there as well as the youths. And uh, Christy, I understand some of the youths have got into the uh, paranormal over there. Is that correct? And that's true. We have a class there from ages 10 to, I think, about 16 years old. And uh, we've been discovering equipment and how to interact with energies within the building to open the kids' minds up to it. Oh, that's fantastic. And it's I understand they, they actually had a, a brainstorming session on what to name the group. I thought that was the cutest thing I heard. Absolutely. I think to make them feel a part of it, which is what we all want to be a part of something, it's important for them to have a say in what we refer to them as, you know, what we call them. And what is so, that? What is the name they come up with? Uh, it's uh, Teenage Supernatural Explorers. <laughs> that sounds fun. Oh, yeah, my gosh. I wish as a teenager, fun. I was with the Teenage Supernatural Explorers. That mm -hmm. would have been spectacular. Now, uh, next meeting. What's that, Courtney? I said, can I come to the next meeting? Yes. You absolutely can. Absolutely. Come on. And joining us, of course, is uh, mm -hmm. uh, Kathy Collins, who uh, I chatted with earlier in the week as she gave me a tour mm -hmm. of the building on our other show, This Old Haunted House. And uh, Kathy has been working there for 25 years now and knows very much firsthand on a lot of the entities that exist there. Kathy, welcome to the show. How are you? Oh, Kathy, I think we're muted. I'm not hearing you. Can anyone else hear or is that just me? No, it's me. No. Kathy, are you there? Uh-oh. Got to get a microphone on that, but we'll work on that. And uh, uh, you... That might be paranormal, Dean. <laughs> what? They Already? Might be silencing Electrically? her voice within that building right now. Say they, they don't might, like hearing her voice? Maybe they're silencing her, you know, maybe they're keeping her quiet. Already. We have to okay. think about that. Yeah. Now, before we start, of course, we have a little uh, um, thing that Courtney decides her favorite mm -hmm. uh, uh, message from all the people viewing. Uh, and you get a free Scared Alone t-shirt based on Courtney's decision of what was your favorite comment from last week's show? All right, so um, I have two, but it's from the same person, but they both, I feel like, need to be recognized. So the winner from last week is Paul Fayella. Um, Paul, congratulations. Said, uh, you, need to try, you need to try a little ham, maybe as a ghost bait trigger object, and I <laughs> very much appreciated the throwback to the most traumatic night of my life. Um, so I thought, but then as a throwback to the most traumatic night of Dean's life, he also said, if the flies died, they'll be on next week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're saying the spirit of these flies that I haven't cleaned from the lampshade are now going to be invested? Oh, oh, you, Dean, do you hear that? I hear buzzing. Do you hear that? No, you do not. You do not. And why don't you show everybody what you brought for uh, my, in case more flies show up? Well, I thought that. Like Rosie could hold it for us. <laughs> no, no, not the oh, the scary doll. Oh my god! And that's a spatula. That's not even a fly swatter. <laughs> you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, Dean. <laughs> okay. Do you want to live in the end of a horror or not? It well, again, the disclaimer is we're not responsible for what happens to everybody's place. Mm -hmm. This is why it's called scared and alone. We're alone. We're scared. I'm already <laughs> terrified that flies are going to show up again. I don't know why. But, oh, my gosh. So, Courtney, why don't you explain where you are right now? All right. So, I'm in the basement. Um, and this is the garage area. Um, and when I walked in here, it was really heavy. It was like walking into a brick wall. Um, I've, Like I said earlier, I've picked up a lot here. I don't usually right away, but I it was like in my face. So... I, the heavy feeling in here feels like someone committed suicide or someone sat in here and like heavily contemplated, contem heavily contemplated committing suicide in this room. Wow. That, that's the energy that I feel in here. It's like sad. It's pulling, pulling down on my chest, mm -hmm. like uh, breathe or swallow. Like I want to cry. 
Uh, Christy, we know there was a, a prison cells mm -hmm. in that building when it was a police station, but yeah. in the garage area, do we have any historical knowledge of any mm -hmm. uh, police officer or anybody? Uh, I will I will tell you what I've discovered being there in that very room is that very thing that you're talking about right there about the suicide. And uh, I won't tell you the name of the man. Mm -hmm. He's not actually very old. He's like uh, maybe around 17, 16, 17 years old in that very room. Depends. And was he part of the Weymouth police force? No, 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 he wasn't. Oh, but it was, it was a bad situation. Oh, it was a more recent than the 1996 renovation. I do place? think so. Yes. Oh dear. Wow. And you're sitting at Chris, what, uh, uh, where specifically is it the worst? Uh, that room is always the heaviest in the building, uh, particularly lit with this one person, this one energy. Um, I feel I think the, right here. Gonna, that's what you're feeling, Courtney? Yeah, yeah, closer to the doors, right over there. All right. Yeah, that, you want to in that the zone, room? it oh, seems to be the strongest pull. Um, as I, long as just, my name is underneath Mine's me. just way with you can handle yeah, That's fine. And we're getting some audio feed from others, but... I hear from uh, many voices. Yes. Caddy, did you, uh, uh, Courtney, did you bring your uh, other uh, meters and all that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Are you reading any energy? Let's check it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A couple of bars. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, I should remember that this is an interactive paranormal investigation. You are part of it. So make sure you turn up your um, speakers, brighten your monitors, mm -hmm. because you are part of this investigation just as we are. We are seeing this live in real time. And we mm -hmm. are just as curious as you of what Courtney's feeling as she is... Mm -hmm alone in the basement of this building are but, you hearing anything i feel like mm, i feel like he was worried that there was going to be a mess a mess that someone would have to clean up mm. Mm -hmm. uh patty you're off in a, a psychic a medium are you sensing anything um, yeah, I'm sensing that he is actually, he is staying there and he's kind of hiding. And I think you're kind of right on about being a mess. He's, you know, he doesn't have a lot of self-esteem. He doesn't have a lot of anything. So now even after doing it, he's still kind of hiding. I, he feels like he is kind of towards the edge, a door, a corner of a door. Um, you might get, yeah, there you go. Something just poked me. Yeah. Where? Yeah. In my back. Um, is it, you know, he, he might show himself more if it was a little less light in there, Courtney. It, <laughs> it, it, all that Courtney's from. favorite. Yes, turn off the lights in the dark, scary basement of a ex-police station, now teen center. <laughs> Hold on. It's pitch black in here with the lights off. I had to put my light, my little light on. Good. That's much better. Oh yeah, until I walk away from it and I'm <laughs> Wow. There's not any ambient light in there, is there? No. It's a very dark room when the lights are out and the door is shut. Very dark. I'm getting like a T name or a K name or both. <clears throat> For the I'm name? Yeah. Try an M. M? Oh. M. M like Michael? M is in... Exactly. Oh. Also, I'm getting something on my, on my foot. My foot. He might have had something wrong with his foot. Or I don't know if that happened with whatever he did. But my, my foot feels injured. <clears throat> Michael, are you here?
Can you come closer to me? I know you're scared, but I'm not here to hurt you or make fun of you. I'm here to talk to you. <clears throat> My name's Courtney. Oh dear. Mm -mm. Oh, God, I feel like I'm going to start crying over here, okay? <clears throat> Michael, it's okay. And now that seems the meter went blank, he left. I wonder if we can... I sense a vibration. Are you getting a vibration in there, Courtney? I I feel like I heard a phone vibrating a minute ago. Yeah, that's, you know, it's like a, it, yeah, that's it. Was that your phone? Did you no, put it on vibrate? Not to serve. <clears throat> Hold on. I want to try. What else did you bring? Well, I'm, I'm going to put... I want to put some, uh, some toys over there. I know he's not a kid. Right. Some people in the comments section are suggesting William as a name over Michael. Would that possibly uh, resonate with you, Christy? Do you know anyone? Yeah, not during our time there. So far, it's always been the same name so far. Okay. There might be a William in the building that I'm unfamiliar with. I'm not saying mm -hmm. that people aren't picking that up, but not in this particular situation. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm. You guys see that on the screen? Yes. You put down two cat toys? <clears throat> I feel like he doesn't want me to be over there. Really? Me... That's his space? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the meter is like totally blank right now. So meaning there's no energy there? Michael? Can you come closer to that light or try to roll the ball and make it light up? Do you want to try William? William? Um, Courtney, can you ask if, if they were ever bullied or were actually a bully to somebody, to others? Okay. <clears throat> if whoever's in this room with me, Michael, if that's your name, if it's mm -hmm. not, you can us. Were you bullied? Or were you the bully? It's okay. Ask if, maybe, ask if somebody um, was ever hurtful. I just thought you... a shadow. Like, can you see the shadow of my hand on the garage door? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was like that, but fainter, and it moved across, like probably like this high. Wow, I wasn't looking there. And I, my hands in my pockets, I, I wasn't moving. I'm sorry, Chris, Christy, what did you say? I forgot. <laughs> I got hung up on when you were moving and I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> well, I know this basement is huge and yeah. uh, full of terrifying nooks and crannies, including the old shooting range that the police practiced at uh, down there. Yes. Um, uh, perhaps that uh, entity has moved 
somewhere in the garage, from away from the garage into uh, mm -hmm. the deeper parts of the basement. Do we care to continue exploring? I, mean, I think that would be great. Yeah. Let me gather up my flies water. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, leave the flies water behind. I got the flies. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, you know, for those watching who don't know, uh, <laughs> I had flies last time. My robot vacuum goes off at the weirdest times and stops anywhere on the floor. Uh, doing the show has affected this whole place electronically, electrically, and now uh, the you know, flies. So I, you know, I'm going to warn you, Richard Lil. Let's check out what you are painting. Look at this. Hold on, I have something. Oh, you do. Yeah, Richard because Lil, we'll get back to you in a second. So I tested both of these just two minutes ago before uh -huh. I put them out, and this one is on, and what? this one is. On. And you have to like take off? your finger off and this is it working. But when I just went to pick it up, it's off. You have to like push your finger into it. How? I'd love to know. I'd love to know the answer to that. Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, I have been doing some experimenting in these areas with some of these tools and they know how these things work. The, the cat toys, they know how they turn on and off. Oh, no. And I do know that they can push things and move things because we've taught them. It's okay to touch them. So oh. maybe in this case, they actually turned one of the tools off. You did say you saw a shadow. <laughs> okay, Christy. It's the one off that was near the shadow. They were both teaching tiny. entities to turn on and off the actual devices that make yes, them. Yes, I'm teaching the ghost as well as the children. Yes, everybody gets education there. Well, yes, I suppose it's educational, but it's also counterproductive to actually then they will be undetected. Well, uh, is it really, though? Because it, it is sort of documenting what they're capable of doing. Okay, well, that is an excellent point. And I now concede to you, Christy. Yeah, I've got my pencil. That's my, that's my smart stuff right there coming out right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. Well, Courtney, well, I, I can't get over the like the foot thing, be careful that somebody might try to trip you. Has any, Christy, do you know, has anybody mm -hmm. like tripped like there before? To me, it's like, like kind of like a bully thing that you were saying, how somebody mm -hmm. walked by and I just, just be extra careful because I just keep seeing it and seeing it and seeing it. Wow. So, okay, Patty. So, when, I was, yes, when I was on the tour, yeah. um, Kathy kept saying to me, Oh, watch your step right here and don't trip on this and watch out for this because you don't want to trip on that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and the floor is uneven on the basement. They have some of the original uh, wood mm -hmm. floors and then some of the report concrete. So uh, uh, keep the lights on till somebody says turn them off. Turn them off. <laughs> oh, my God. After you get there, Patty, she oh. has to see where she's walking before oh. she trips. But I think so. I don't think it's just the uneven floor or the, the you know the thresholds or anything. I think somebody tripped somebody there. I really do. Like oh. you don't realize it, but I think there's somebody there tripping. Somebody people. Okay, fantastic. Oh. While Courtney moves to the next space, now we'll go to Richard Lil and check out uh, how his painting is progressing. Richard Lil, look at this uh, dramatic scene that's come out of uh, your psychic visions. Uh, well, tell us what you're painting. So, as I mentioned, there are many layers of time that overlap in this space. Yes, yeah. there's a, a police station, which is scary in and of itself. But there are other buildings that once stood on that very same location. Right. And so, one of them was a church. Yes. Right. This, uh, you're referring to the white church, which burned mm -hmm. down in the early 1900s. The white church. Then there was a city hall or some sort of thing as well. Uh -huh. um, so I oh. am painting the church. That's amazing. Now, have you seen this church before? I did have. It, this time I did. Um, oh, you did? I have been, for the last few weeks, I have been obsessed. I kept having visions of, of churches on fire. And, and not just because, not just because I'm a big, bad Satanist, but... <laughs> Um, uh, but also because I just, I just, I kept saying, you know, I feel like I need to paint a church and I need to paint it on fire. And then uh, when I was 
when the, the producer was going through with me to tell me, I said, okay, uh, you know, I, I need a picture of the space. Mm -hmm. And she said, which one? And I went, I don't know, the old one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so she says, oh, well, there are a couple of things that you can, you can see. So I did get a picture of it. But no. I, I, there, there are other things that I did see. Um, there is somewhere, I don't know where she is, but there is a woman who cries and she's, she is oh, probably in the thirties or forties and she cries and she, she really just sort of, she pleads and begs. Mm -hmm. um, there's a fellow that I, I kept getting a strong sense of, of cigar smoke. I oh. don't know where he is, but there's, there's cigar smoke. Mm -hmm. I think he's in the police department. I think oh. I'm at Wow. Okay. Courtney, where are you now? I am in the shooting range. You are. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is at, the, I'm outside room. All the way at the end. How long mm. is that room? Because uh, they couldn't get light in there when I was looking. Oh, me. Mm. That is long and deep. And then what down the heck? old bullets. <gasps> That's lead, so don't touch that. Yeah, well, of course. Maybe I won't. Touch that. <clears throat> and what so, are you sensing in there? I don't. It's very quiet. Like dead quiet. That like sensory deprivation make... tank quiet in here. Courtney, do you have to say the word dead? Yep. In the shooting range. I do. Mm dead on a shooting range oh my, <laughs> oh my. Uh, patty what are you feeling there i don't feel anything yet but really no but that's not saying there isn't something there i think it's tucked away well it would make sense that there wouldn't be any energy over there if they're all shooting at the far end often the mm -hmm. uh, space beyond is just targets mm -hmm. well <laughs> Well, not you. No, they would have paper, uh, circular well, targets. I, I, yeah. that is a long room, though. Yep. I'm now back at the. Oh, it's even weirder. Sound wise, up here. I just felt like I was underwater. I think they probably acoustically. Uh, uh, soundproof the room so you wouldn't hear gunfire throughout Weymouth, Massachusetts so that uh, it looks like the doors and walls are extra thick in there and with acoustic tiling. I don't like when I can't see the end of it. But... <laughs> I bet. Now I really can't see the end of it. I've never liked that room. It's never. like dark Oh my god, hold on. Let me turn my camera around. My light is not reaching all the way to the end. I don't like this now. Hold it's on. absorbing all the light? Yes. Is it painted black all the way to the end? Um, I think so, but I could see it a minute ago. Do you want the light on? No. Wow. Thank you. What? what kind of feedback is that? That is terrifying. What? Look yeah. at the ceiling. Did you walk back there? Hello. Can you hear me? Here? When I first. I'm hearing. F oh, is that Kathy Collins trying to get on to tell us something about the shooting range and she's feedbacking? <laughs> Holy smokes, that's terrifying. <laughs> what? I'm sure it's just a computer issue, but wow, that sounds. Oh, here it is right now. Okay. No, I can't hear anybody. Who's else. whispering? Wait, do you guys see the, the cords moving? Oh, yeah. Are you doing that? No. No. I see it clearly mm -mm. waving back and forth. Uh, I put that down for weird. Ask the spirit to move it again, Courtney. Can you move the cord again? Move it bigger so that everybody can see. Oh. Well, that's constant. I hear like static.
Yeah, there wouldn't be a breeze though. There's no windows there, is there, Christy? No, not in the shooting room. It's not. Everything's locked up and and it doesn't have any ventilation or anything that could move that. There's it's, no it's always so still inside that room. It's it's a strange feeling how quiet and still it is. It's uncomfortable. That's exactly what it is right now. But it's, <laughs> it looks like that cord's being pull, uh, uh, pulled off center, like away from what would be a plumb line. Yep. I see it moving. So ask ask who is here. Maybe, maybe we uh, can get a recording. Oh, it's moving more. Yeah. Say hello. Say your name. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Courtney. If you're here with me, you're doing a great job for us moving that cord. Mm. Do you have anything that you'd like to say to any of us? <gasps> Am I making this up? No. no, it's moving. It's moving. I see it. So Courtney, yeah. there should be some filing cabinets over there next to where those, yep. those boards are coming down. Yep. Do you think you can put something on top one of those filing cabinets? <clears throat> yeah, like that. Oh, look at the meter go. I wow. see it. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me. There we go. That shadows me. Oh, no. Okay. But I'm going to stand still now and not move. If you're mm -hmm. here, can you come close to that light that I just put there? Oh. Good what job. Noise. Is it my rain in Miss Massachusetts? I mean, sorry, Michigan. Does it Not still still feel really heavy in there? Because I'm getting such a heavy, yeah, um, thick like nothing. But it's not because nothing is there. It's because something is so thick you can't like see it. It almost feels like this is going to sound so weird, but it almost feels like that something's mm -hmm. like hooked in my ears and pulling me down. Oh, in yeah. your not, ears? No, not really, but like that's the only way I can describe mm -hmm. it. It's like heaviness in my ears pulling me down because mm -hmm. it's so quiet. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure the fiberglass pink insulation isn't uh, a sound mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, barrier. Um, but I don't so see the what if we try asking about William in this room? Ah, good suggestion, Christy. Uh, go ahead, Courtney. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone in this room named William? We'd like to. William, if you're here, please go closer to the light. Light that whole thing up. The closer you go, the higher the lights go. Or you can touch one of the toys and it will light up. You can take some of my energy if you want. If you're here and your name is not William, can you go closer to the light? Make it go yellow. I just saw a shadow. Where? In the back. In the dark, dark. I guess Come I forward. <clears throat> Come closer. It's okay. Oh, I'm not here to bother you. Good job. Come closer. Ask if uh, William was falsely accused. Some people uh, on the comment section are suggesting that. If your name is William and you're here with me now, 
If you are falsely accused, make that light up red. Can I suggest something, Courtney? Please, Christy. What if you explain to them what that device is? Because maybe they've never seen it before and they don't know. Okay, sure. Explain to them how it works and it might give them a little bit more comfort in approaching it. So that light mm -hmm. that you see, that device is my EMF detector. And what that means is that it can pick up your energy when you get closer to it. And the closer you get to it, the higher the lights go. They go from green to yellow to red, everywhere in between. So if you get nice and close to it, it's not going to hurt you. It's just going to measure your energy so that we know that you're here. And you can talk to us with that. I feel like a phone is vibrating again. Really? Yeah. You're holding their phone. I'm not hold I'm not touching it. But it feels like it's in my pocket. If you come closer to that, you can light it up. The balls that I put down there, they're just toys. If you touch them, they make bright lights. Again, just to let us know that you're here. Uh, Courtney, just turn around for a sec. Somebody said they thought they, something was observing your back. I hate that. <laughs> or someone in the ba is back there observing you. Am I taking a firearms exam? <laughs> I like guns. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, I'm sure Maybe. it hasn't been a shooting range since the 90s, but. I like so, the 90s too. <laughs> Courtney, mm -hmm. did you, when you, you were in the military, did you, you shot guns in the military, didn't you? I shot guns before I went to the military in a shooting range. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I, a handgun and I was not good at it. Well, maybe then, we should play a handgun sound. What do you say? Oh my God, I might oh, not. Yes. But okay, Let's that's actually a, a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn. Should I turn it back around so you can see the meter? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Just a second. Let me find a good one. <laughs> There's multiple recordings of the gunfire. I mean. Look at the meter. Wow. Maybe let's try a different kind of gun. More old fashioned. Yeah, yes, let's... the 1930s, the 40s caliber. <clears throat> let's try this one. Let's see. The German nine millimeter machine. <laughs> <laughs> We're not playing the whole film noir, Richard Lell. We don't have time for that. How about this one? <laughs> what was that? The Roadrunner? That <laughs> no, it's, it it's like, like some bad mm, western. It's a classic uh, gun from the 40s. Let's try a Tommy mm, gun. Let's try mm, that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Prohibition. A Tommy gun there? I don't know. Yeah, but wasn't this a police station? Yes, from mm -hmm. 1936 all the so, way to 1996. Would they be practicing with Tommy? Well. Was that your shadow, Courtney, on the floor? That was me. Okay. I don't know. That's what I have. Let's try this. Let's try this one. You'll never take us alive, <laughs> Copper. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I saw something move. What? I saw a shadow. No. Where? It's straight ahead in the darkness again. Mm -hmm. And look, the meter died down. Like it, it moved away. Oh my it gosh. Further back. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's continue our uh, investigation. I should point out, I was invited by the Vancouver police department to go to their shooting range where uh, they, all the weapons they had confiscated, they keep uh, from crime scenes. And then, as a fun thing, shoot them off, including they had a bazooka that uh, potentially you could shoot in the shooting range. I never went, of course. Uh, I turned the invite down for some reason. But uh, yeah, you would have Tommy guns and other things in that shooting range. 
Call them up and RSVP for two because I'm coming. <laughs> I'm sure they've retired by now. It's been a while since I've been in Vancouver. But uh, Richard Lell, let's go back to you and see the, the church on fire. This actually reminds me of a Ed Ruscha a gas station fire painting mm -hmm. series that he did back in the 80s. Well, I, you know, I love a good fire. <laughs> but one can only be so flaming, you know. <laughs> That's true. But this is spectacular. Now, uh, in this fire, do we know how it started? I have no idea. I That I don't know. Oh, yeah. Maybe maybe they had a good helping of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> that, yeah. it's, that goes to uh, combustible states? Maybe. <laughs> Fantastic. It said in 1903 with high winds, the church just went up in flames. And it took just one to three hours to burn down completely. Guys. What? Courtney, where are you now? I'm still in the same place. I'm packing up to move. Well, But you didn't tell me where to go. But my cat toy is off again. What? <laughs> well, again, I tested it. You saw both of them going. Yeah, you turned it on. You have to and then it got turned off again. Right. You have to push it in. And then it just stays. And push it in. And it's off again. So, Christy, are you teaching these entities just how to uh, thwart all of our... <laughs> You know what? Uh, what I got to say about that is I'm doing a good dang job. <laughs> are you? Well, okay. Yeah. yeah let's say you are. Let, I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, say that's very impressive. I call it you, success. That's what that is, right there. Success. Right. That they keep turning off anything that we can have to actually. Oh, meter. I'm gonna teach them everything. Yeah. I just. I just lost connection to you guys for a second too, as I tried I to. I taught them how to do that too. Yeah, Christy. <laughs> Christy. All right, where Dean? Where do you want me to go now? Well, there's been some uh, terrifying rooms, mm. uh, but there's one on the other end uh, where there is a husband and wife that keeps looking for a church. Oddly enough, uh, Christy, do you know the room I'm talking about there in the basement? Uh, yeah. I absolutely do. Uh, and, in the basement, I, I know exactly where you're going. Yes, Courtney, it's Kathy. It's the first room I showed you off to the right near, past the furnace. That is, uh, is that okay that I told her? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Kathy, Kathy Collins, I'm glad you're back. We can hear you, mm. even if we can't see you. Yeah, uh, I'm glad uh, you can't see me now. <laughs> oh, there you are. Yeah, now we can see you. Hi, and I have Jen Hayes with me too. Oh, hi, hi. hi. welcome to the show. Thanks, you're here. Uh, yes. Uh, guide uh, Courtney to that room. So I, you have to go back. Sorry, you have to go back behind. Go almost to the the base, um, the garage again. Okay. Oh, right, right. Okay. Right, right back to the garage. I and was so distracted. I forgot that when we you're facing the garage, take a, a left and go through two rooms. Yes, I remember yeah. that basin being not only uh, maze-like, but expansive, huge, a lot of walking, uh, yeah. many rooms looking identical to the other, many of them full of uh, uh, donations to the family center and teen center mm -hmm. and right. uh, stored there for uh, uh, Christmas and uh, oh. teen center derbies, for instance. <laughs> All right, so let's do everything. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thank you, Kathy. Courtney, are you there now? Mm -hmm. So, uh, rumor has it there there was uh, a couple here, and they were looking at or asking for directions to a church. Anyone need directions? I, I think it's know. too light in there, Courtney. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, Patty, is that your go-to in every room? Just knock out the lights. That's what I'm here for. There. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, I just turned and I thought someone was standing here. Mm -hmm. Oh my. 
And was there? No. <clears throat> Is there anyone here with me? Oh, I have a headache. A headache? Yeah. Is there anyone in here with me now? Can you make a sound we all can hear? Hello? Is that a normal basement noise? The well, the traffic going down the road will make a sound. Yes, it, it traffic sound. It would a clanging sound. Courtney, you are directly below my office too. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> I apologize for the noise you're hearing, but for some reason, my air conditioning just turned on. Not my heater, my air conditioning. It's not, now it's affected my nest. Thank you very much. You've ruined my robot. Now my nest thermostat. You know, the show is really starting to cost me. <laughs> and the, the flies were cold. Yeah, well... Yeah, maybe I'm trying to freeze out the flies with air conditioning coming on for no reason. Oh my gosh. It's hot. It's not hot. It's, 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 it's cold and rainy in Michigan. It's going to snow tomorrow. Oh, the flies are in the AC. Yeah, very funny in the comment section. Oh my God. My seeing like a face up here. Where? Like, oh my God. Hold on. Hold on. Turn the lights on. Like up here. But that's not possible. There's not Where? a window. No. The red wires are, or the wires are? Like here. Like where the grills are. And it's not a reflection of my face because it's not, it like disappears as soon as I look. And I thought a person, I turned and I thought I saw a person right here where the tree is. But like, wow. outside, obviously not in the tree, but outside the tree. Like, like so, can I ask, so can I ask, how are you feeling standing um, here in the room by yourself? Terrified. <laughs> what goes through your mind? <clears throat> panic like i feel panic that's maybe not all the way mine well ask if it's clayton some people are saying is that clayton that's not it's not clayton it's the christmas tree that they're saying is clayton because my favorite movie is <laughs> isn't that clayton well maybe you saw a face on the top of that christmas no i literally just saw someone walk out of the shooting range no <laughs> oh my I'm okay. not joking. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Literally saw them walk out here. They were wearing a white shirt. How tall was he? Like to here. Yeah, tall. Oh, he's tall. Like taller mm. than you. I'm 5'7", so I don't know how tall that is. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. If he's walked out of there, that means they're on the move. And perhaps we should go up to the first floor. Exactly. To where we know uh, certain entities mm -hmm. exist. And mm -hmm. some of these stairways are very uh, creaky. Oh, God. <laughs> 
and terrifying. He's okay, I'm not okay. I'm sorry, Courtney. This is the deal you signed up for. Mm. Oh. This was just red. Did it go to red? Yes. Oh my God, look, oh wow. Okay, hold. Mm. Mm. Patty, are you sensing anything? It's, as she gets further and further in leaving, it's getting stronger and stronger. As so she's I, leaving? Yes, as she's leaving, it's getting stronger, just like the, the, the meter is. So I think I think she's being led to wherever she's going to next. Which I suggested up to the main floor. Yeah. Uh, perhaps to the boardroom. All right. This is going to be real unflattering if we could take me off the camera while I get up there. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure, we'll a lot of stairs. Richard Lell and see how his painting mm -hmm. is going. Uh, our very own spectral Bob Ross. Richard Lell, mm -hmm. how's your canvas? Wow, look at that. Well, That's not just a small fire, sir. Oh, and we lost your audio for the first time. Oh, that was my fault. I oh. said, Lord of mercy, I feel my temperature rising. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hunk of hunk of burning love. <laughs> Spectacular. Uh, I also appreciate the uh, beams of yellow light on the grass emanating as if it came from light from within, uh, from stained glass. That is a nice touch. Uh, sir. That is what happens when you set a church on fire. Not that I ever have, mind you. <laughs> no one's suggesting you had. Uh, but, you know, the uh, the well-rendered light uh, transitions of what the fire is casting suggest maybe you've witnessed it. I'm not sure. Well, only in my best dreams. <laughs> wow. And so... This is the actual church that was on the same location as this uh, uh, old police station was. Uh, this burnt down 1904. Uh, the police station built 1932 and occupied by 1936. So uh, this property has seen a lot of action. And I, I hear that the, the other hall that had a, a clock tower nearly fell and uh, and crushed firefighters in the area. Uh, that's true. The, the town hall was built after the church, but before the police station had a large clock tower that then uh, fell across the main street and uh, uh, nearly, uh, yeah, destroy, uh, collapsed on some firefighters that were working. And you wonder why they made this one out of cement? <laughs> well, I believe that's a case in point. How, how thick, how many bricks can you put together before something doesn't burn down. Which explains why also it was a bomb shelter for Weymouth, Massachusetts uh, during the Cold War fears. Okay, Courtney, you seem to be upstairs and you seem to be holding your head in your hands. Is everything okay? I need five to seven business days to recover from that basement and my meter was just red. Where are you? In the boardroom. <clears throat> This boardroom, we know to have lots of activity. Is that right, Christy? It does. It has a lot of things that happens within this room. So it, can I can I just, please. before anybody says anything, because I come into these blind, and I don't often get things as strongly as I did here. Yeah. Um, but similar to the basement, when I walked in this room, I saw something right away. Mm -hmm. And it was a man. Mm -hmm. And I saw him kind of like doing, just doing his business over in this corner. And he had a yes. thick mustache, mm -hmm. like dark mustache brown, and like short cropped hair. He was probably in his like 40s, maybe 50s, like yeah. larger. Ask, ask him if he smokes a cigar. <clears throat> Anybody in here smoke a cigar? Want to share? <clears throat> it's a fine Cuban. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like a hand on my shoulder. Wow. 
Uh, Courtney, why don't you move that chair right into the corner and put a, uh, a cat ball on it? As cool, we great. Eye on it. it. Is there a dimmer switch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is. Hold on. Patty, what is it with you and the lights? I'm not sure why everything has to be. Patty well, is living her vampire era and cannot be. Really yeah, very era. tense energy. I, I too do a lot of paranormal investigation and it's never like fluorescent light, bright white. It's harder to see the spirits there. All right, I would okay. love to watch this. And they me. seem to get. Hey, they're both on. 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 We all witness that. Yes, they're on. Uh, they seem to get more active when you turn the lights off, Courtney. I'm not trying to be mean to you. I think you are. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. My meter is going crazy. Is it? Because the lights are out. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Uh, now, if I... Uh, remember correctly, this is a room where an entity named James uh, perhaps yeah. hangs yes. out. Is that correct, Kat, uh, Kathy? Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Right. <clears throat> he hangs out in that corner, exactly where where uh, Courtney is. Look at your cat bug off. And the meter. And the meter. Uh, Can you do that again? That was so good. Ask, ask James. James, can you do that again? This is me. Don't uh, or don't panic. Let's get this car. James, can you like again? So, so Courtney, do you want to know what that room used to be? Sure. Uh, it used to be where the jail cells were. Oh, super. <laughs> okay. So you're in technically a nineteen. 36 jail cell. The last time I was in a jail cell, guys, the spirit box said men like that butt and then tried to touch me on my butt. So I don't like this. Don't get any ideas, James. Touch the, the toys, not me. <laughs> Christy, did you, didn't you have an experience like that recently? Yeah, uh, over in the corner. Yeah, that's actually where I put the students to do the Estes method, the first class. In that corner? Yeah, I blindfolded them and stuck them in the dark in the corner with the Estes method. Wow, that's quite a, a lesson. We go all in when we go in. We just go all in. Wow. And, uh, that's how we found out the name of the gentleman there as James. <gasps> Whoa! Mm. Look at that jump. What is, do we know if James was a prisoner there or do we know anything about James? Yeah, he was arrested, but I think he wasn't really, um, I think he wasn't a bad person. I think they just booked him with the wrong details um, about what happened. Courtney. And he, oh, sorry. Patty, I think ahead. he also had a health well, issue. I just found out that I'm late for something that, started earlier so courtney i'm not going to force you to turn the lights on anymore else so i'm putting that job in dean in charge of that job <laughs> okay, thank making... you patty yes um, i will be torturing are... courtney for the next hour after this you are in good hands with christy and richard Lale mm -hmm. and Dean and kathy and everybody um you are doing really really good and i'm sorry it's it's oscar week you guys well, of course <laughs> you're hollywood big time yeah, we know it Hollywood. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Patty, thank you, Patty Negri, for joining us. Thank uh, you. Guys. Thank you, Patty. We hope to see you Bye. next week. I love you all. Bye, Patty. Love you too, Patty. Oh, did you like that I came out next to you? It seems I did. Mm. Can you play with the toy again? Oh my so God, what? I started to ask, turn are they turned off now? Because they both were lighting up earlier. What? What about the other one? Hold on. Nope, that one's still on. That one's that working. Still on. So they turn one off and yeah. don't touch the other one. 
but it's You're doing a good job. Yes, it clicks. You guys have to understand, like it clicks on. Yeah, it's not no, clear. I saw it when you showed it close up. That's not just uh, electrical energy. That is, but how do you turn it? Well, I guess once you turn it off, it doesn't light up. So right, you have that much force. Mm -hmm. Can you make the ball light up? Touch it just like I did. <clears throat> so one of the first arrests when the new jail was open was a drunk was james a drunk you get in trouble for drinking what they got you in for james <gasps> oh oh <laughs> <clears throat> that was a pretty hard spike. I'd say. James, are you ready to go home? Ask him that. Oh, <laughs> I think he heard you. James, yeah. are you okay? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is he ready to go home? Can I, can I get the keys and let you out of here? <laughs> it likes that. Do you have your car keys to jingle? I do. Let's see if that works. Okay, hold on. Oh my goodness. Pretty good spikes. Wow, look at it go. You're doing good, James. Mm. I have an idea. Yes, Courtney. Hey, James. <clears throat> do you want a drink? Or do you want the keys? <laughs> <laughs> Closer to which ball? <laughs> Light up a ball and tell me which one you want. For anyone wondering, that is monster energy. <laughs> it didn't look like a Michelob Ultra. <laughs> wow. What? It's off again. <laughs> How is he doing that? I don't understand. Mm. Right. That well, requires... Let me explain it to you. You okay. push the button, you turn it off. <laughs> oh, no, thank you, Christy. Wait, could you slow that down for me a bit? Turn the button, what? <laughs> no, but how... Okay, I'm going to try oh. another one. I wonder if something... Oh, I see. Technically, it's faulty. Or the battery's dying? No, because it turns right on, and it's new. I think, I think they've learned a lot from the teenagers. Oh. All the teens that are here, they've learned how to to mm -hmm. play with us. Yeah, I see. So the energy's there, but they're not uh, not falling for the old cat toy trick anymore. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Let's see if this one. This everybody can see it on. Yeah. All right, this is a different one. Different one. Mm. Oh. Harder to turn off. Harder to place. What is going on here? There we go. Okay. Uh, James, you want a drink? You want the keys? Okay, apparently this one never turns off. Like, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay. James, if you want the drink, light up this ball. If you want the keys to the jail cell, light up this ball. <clears throat> <clears throat> if one of these goes off right next to him, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> mm. 
But somebody did make a comment in the chat about when the cat balls are lighting up, they look like the cop car lights. Oh, right. So maybe yeah, I can yeah. do that, show you what the cop car lights look like. Right. Mm -hmm. Thumb the carvers after me, James. Light them up. I wish I had brought handcuffs. <laughs> well, what about, what if we, what if we play a 1930s siren? What do you think about that? Oh, that's a great idea, mm -hmm. Richard Lell. Police siren. Oh, there. 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 Man. What? I heard a man. Say what? Oh, <clears throat> like oh, I heard that too. I thought that was too much. This is too much. From the like, <laughs> James, was that you? Mm -mm. You're not going to drink this than I am. <laughs> and I'm going to pretend it's something else. Okay. I mean, it's still working. Good news. Still working. So nobody's shutting them off. Okay, but why was... Okay, now hold on. Only this one is on now. And you just saw how long this one's yeah. been left for. What in the world? Can you light one of those up again? <clears throat> Can you roll it off the chair? I mean, your meter's in the amber or the yellow. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. That was awesome. That was yes. so awesome. Lock him up and throw away the You didn't like that? James, are you the man that's... <laughs> Tell me that was you, Richard Lill. <laughs> me, that was a prison door. Oh. <laughs> I hated that thing so yeah, much. Yeah, you could give it a heads up on that, mister. If you have like, any warning whatsoever. Okay, cool. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Try that again. Let's do it. That's locking him up and throw away his key. James, do you have a woman at home too? <gasps> She's gonna be real mad. Oh my god! Uh, yes. You said it. I'm afraid to bring. Okay. <laughs> She's gonna. Be... Yeah. Uh oh, locked up again. What'd you do this time? Are you actually kidding me? What? What'd you hear? No, just that. Oh yeah, no, I, no, next? I can't believe it. Ask that question again. Mm -hmm. James, 
Do you have a wife to get home to? <laughs> she gonna be mad that you got locked up? Kathy or Christy, do we know if James had a wife? We don't. Does anybody ask that? We have. We <gasps> have. Look, your balls are going off again. Oh my goodness! Look at them. So I think we know now. Uh, <laughs> we we have know. asked him about his family. He did have a family. He did. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> James, what kind of example are you setting for your kids? Getting locked wow. up like this. <clears throat> James is one of the entities that uh, talk to the teens all the time. Every oh, time yeah. we have a meeting. He definitely comes through, right, Christy? He comes through on the spirit box a lot. He does. He's the first, first one we spoke to. Yes. That's, That's twice. twice. I, think he, I think he loves his family very much. Aww. That's kind of sweet, actually. Mm -hmm. Sorry, he's in jail. And you don't want to disappoint the missus. <laughs> She's, she's got dinner waiting on the table. It's getting cold. Oh. I feel like if, if you get locked up again, she's going to take the kids and go to her sister's house. <laughs> Do you want me to let you out so that that doesn't happen? Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Can you make the balls go off again? <laughs> and it is amazing every time we're in that room. Right, Christy? That happens. Uh, every time. Because, they, respond, yeah. they respond to the teens all the time. Yeah. Wow. Christy will, will set up yes and no boxes. I forget what they call Christy. We and the kids boxes, ask, yeah. And the kids ask questions and they 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 just answer them the, all the time. Amazing. Well, we, perhaps we should leave James and head off to uh, the next room. Uh, Chris, Christy, yeah. do you want to? Sorry, Dean. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, say, Christy. Do you want to say anything about the Estes method we did the other day? Mm, oh. oh, well, there was a lot of stuff that came through that. Uh, we did it in the opposite corner, not in James's corner. Oh, but, uh, yeah, it was uh, a lot of communication with that many different James. people, not just James, many people within that building. In, a, in that in building, a, but not not in the boardroom. Yes, it was. It was yeah. in the boardroom. <gasps> yeah. And it seemed to be very religious. It was. Oh, oh from the very religious. I just heard a sound like someone was sitting in the chair. Mm. Like they just relaxed. Like someone was like creaking. Oh my, <gasps> oh my goodness. Yeah. It's like uh every week there, huh, Kathy? Yes, all the time. All the time. And they love the cat they love the cat balls. They they set them off all the time. All the time. Wow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if you understand how close to this chair I'm sitting. Like mm. this. You can see it. <gasps> <laughs> All right, but to be honest, do you feel threatened by anything there? No, but I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't want to leave, but also yeah. this is a lot because it's happening right next to me. Yeah. You're very close. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel any uh, temperature change around you? Not in here. Mm. It's the one earlier. Not in this room. Um, earlier when I was on the tour. Mm. There is a corner of the room to me that gets colder, and there's other energies that come through that corner inside that room. And Which it's along the same wall, but it's all the way to the other end. The long near the, near the desk. Okay. 
Should I go over the desk? You can try yeah. it and see what happens. But you got to say something, James, before you pick up and go. Okay, right. well, thank you so much for interacting with us. I'm sorry that I bothered you and that I made up a story about your wife versus mm. yourself. <laughs> Aww. Sure she wouldn't do that because she loves you very much. Look at the spikes. Wow. <laughs> thank mm. you. Can I have my drink back now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would drink it after this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, James. Uh, That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, Very Courtney cool. goes to the other Very room. Cool. Let's check in with Richard Lell mm. and his painting. Wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You've just had a flame after flame of that thing. I think I, I think I've set the church on fire enough. Mm. I think I'll move on now to the faces. Even though, can I do it in that time? Yeah, why not? I mm. think you got time. I got time. I got time to do it. So we'll do. We'll we'll do. We'll do. We'll, we maybe maybe we'll paint James. He's a, he's a nice fella. Are you said? Are you getting a sense of uh, James's portrait? Well, you know what the fella that I see. He's got very square features. Uh huh. Um, kind of an all right guy. He's his his hair is a little bit. Um, it, it's it's short on the sides. It's long on the top. Okay. Um, yeah, James is a nice guy. Mm -hmm. I like. Him. Okay, well, Courtney, now you're in the other corner. Yep. Uh, by the filing cabinet with just one leg. That seems also bizarre. So oh, it's a. It's a <laughs> I didn't notice that feature. Oh, I see. It's a yeah. <laughs> has two legs. Uh, oh, it's got two legs. Okay, it was just somehow the architecture of that was creeping me out more than. The <laughs> it's magic, Dean. It's floating. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying from this angle, it's very odd. All right. Is there and, anyone uh, here? Kathy, explain to us what's over on this corner. Uh, it's just a conference room. It's the same room she was in. Mm -hmm. It's the old jail cells. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just the other side of the conference room. And Christy, what have you experienced here? Mm, so sometimes when we teach the class, everybody kind of gets drawn over to that corner to try uh -huh. out the equipment. Seems like they're responding. Yeah. It's... On the meter right now. And I don't any... know if it's that they're hearing my voice come through and they're recognizing it, saying, where is she? I don't know. <laughs> Any single entity? Is it like at James's other corner or is there someone else here? I think there's other people that come in and out of that room constantly uh, that are at that building. Mm -hmm. And I do think they come down to congregate when I'm there with the kids because they know we're open to hearing what they have to say. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so Courtney, do you want to ask a question? All right. If there's anyone else over here that <clears throat> wants the keys to a jail cell <laughs> can you light up light up light oh my god am i drunk what's happening <laughs> no <laughs> can you light the toys up mm -hmm. that's like a heartbeat the meter right now yeah like on this one right here it's like pulsing mm -hmm. oh so uh last week we got a name that came through during our session um and the name was catherine Mm -hmm. Maybe Catherine. we can ask about that name. Catherine, are you here with us? <clears throat> Catherine, if you're here, come closer. Mm -hmm. And I know we're going to go upstairs soon uh, right. tonight. So another one to ask about is Frank. 
<clears throat> Is Frank upstairs? <clears throat> And I know somebody mentioned Carl earlier too. Carl was uh, an entity that's known there? Well, Carl used to work here for many, many years. Oh, he did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He worked with me for many years. Oh, so you yeah. actually knew Carl? I did know Carl. And is Carl an entity there now? Has Carl come back? I don't, I'm not sure. I would like to think so. <laughs> I'd like to think he was visiting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't we go upstairs? Because I know... Uh, there's a lot of energy both in the um, the lounge area and uh, faces we're seeing in some of the doorways up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, if I'm great, but if I see another full body, like I, I will lose my mind. <laughs> well, you have the camera. I know you're alone there, but so helpful. All right, upstairs. Where am I going? <laughs> where am I going? Upstairs to the the pool room. To the billiard room. Okay. Or the other room. The the, mm -hmm. the, the other room would have been the other room or my office was another room too. Oh yes, there's a portal in your office, isn't that right, Kathy? Mm -hmm. Well, that's what we seem to think. That's what we think is a possibility. Do you want to yeah. just check that out quickly? <clears throat> yeah, I, <clears throat> that's the room where I there I felt the temperature changing earlier. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't like an external, it was very weird because it wasn't like an external temperature change. It felt internal somehow. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know how to explain that any better. I know it sounds weird, but I, that was it. That was what I felt. Okay. All right, well, so let me, I made a mess in here. Let me pack up my stuff. <laughs> okay, <laughs> while you pack it up your stuff, we check in again with Richard Lell and uh, see how the portrait is coming. Uh, where... I decided to do something slightly different. So since there are layers and layers and layers and layers of time and layers and layers of people, and I wonder if this woman that we just talked about, I wonder if she is, I wonder if she was the, the woman who cried. I wonder if that was who that was. Okay. Uh, I don't know, but I, I thought, you know what? I'll do them in shadow. They're going to be sort of all around on the property. Oh, so Why? they're being backlit by the fire? Yes. Oh my gosh. That's terrifying. I know, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I and must it's say. It's toasty. It's, you know what? There's a tornado outside, mm -hmm. it's storming where you are. You know what? It's just mm -hmm. nice and toasty to have a good fire when it's raining. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. That's right. I guess. Uh, and of course, all of your paintings uh, are for sale after you completed them right after the show. Is that right? That is correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we go to uh, mysterycontrol.com or are you selling them off your own website? It's on my own web. On, on, usually just Instagram. Just message me. That's best to message me on Instagram. I get so many messages on my email, I on my website. I just, I don't even answer them anymore. Who knows? I might have won the lottery. And I, I wouldn't know because I, I, I don't check my emails. But you're the gentleman psychic. You must be aware when somebody's trying to contact you. Sometimes I am. Sometimes I am not. Spectacular. Well, it looks great, and I'm sure everybody's going to be bidding for this one because this, to me, is one of my favorites that you've done in Thank all our you. episodes. Yeah, I kind of like it myself. Excellent. Fantastic. Courtney, are you back mm -hmm. in the yeah. office? So just give us a Tell little... Tell me three... how. What? I was going to say, it's, it's, tell me how I had full service down in the basement. Yeah. And then now I come in here and I lost connection for me for a second. Oh my God. So and then there's a window with the outside right here. I know. And you're actually, the audio is a bit choppy for me right now, too. I don't know mm -hmm. if anybody else uh -huh. is hearing it. That is crazy. And that mm -hmm. is uh, Kathy's office. So you think that have the best internet? Uh, but if you look to the doorway, uh, not that Did one. You what? Oh, what is it? Did you hear that sound? I heard a bunch of sounds. I'm not even, oh my God, I'm going to, I think I peed myself. <laughs> <laughs> that ball just rolled and hit the door. What? I heard the door bang. 
And then I looked down and the ball was rolling. <clears throat> Somebody's playing basketball with you. No, they, you took away the cat ball, so they're getting the next biggest round thing they can find. Oh, get the cat balls out. I am, like, I'm not okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dean, I never want to hear about the flies ever again. <laughs> I'm going to say a basketball rolling against the door trumps five flies in my studio. I'm going to say that. Can you move it again? I know that basketball was under the table you were sitting at. Are you kidding so me? That rolled, that rolled pretty far. Are you wow. joking? Well, if that's where it was today under the table that you're sitting at. And it, wow. It, it rolled enough. It banged the door. Mm -hmm. Like it bounced off of the door. Hmm. Okay. Now, Kathy, am I correct where the... the theoretical portal is <clears throat> is uh straight ahead well, yeah well christy can tell you more about that she was the one that felt that. yeah so uh you're sitting at the table if you look straight ahead courtney straight ahead there's another doorway in the oh. corner yes that one yeah, in the corner, there's a doorway. And inside of that doorway area, in that area, in that space is where I feel like there's a portal. Do you want to cool. go over there, Courtney? Mm -hmm. No, sure. Why not at this point? <laughs> of course you do, Courtney. I'm terrified to move past this basketball. <laughs> oh my God. Well, uh, I would be more terrified if you go to the portal and the basketball rolls towards you. Yeah, no. that would be probably. You say that out loud while I'm in the room. <laughs> of course, I'll say that out loud because I'm thinking it. So let's see if they'll do it. Who knows? You do know after tonight that basketball will not be in my office. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure of that, Kathy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. It's probably hey, going to be in the boardroom, right? Yep. Yeah. Let's change the ball. Okay, uh, Courtney, what are you in between the doorways? It's hard to see with the lights out. Yeah, I'm scared. You, there's a behind mirror. You? There's a mirror. I just <laughs> and I don't like it. Okay, Courtney, here's what we're going to do. Go see to the mirror. See a mirror behind me? Go to the mirror. I don't want to. Go to the mirror. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The oh my mirror god. is. The mirror is very old. I think it's ah, original. What did you do? <laughs> I told oh, you the lights go on themselves. <laughs> that's scary. a motion to the middle. Of yes. Oh, I was waiting for it. I expected it. Yeah. <laughs> I think that there's a bathroom right here for me to use. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh my God. So can we turn the lights back out or are they just automatic? Yeah. yeah. Motion you can, them off. You can okay. touch them and take them off. Okay. Oh, look at your meter go. I don't like this. Mm. I do. I do. <laughs> Courtney. I'm sure you do. Courtney. You're, you're, yeah. Okay. Do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Look into the mirror. Are you I am. here? Okay. Mm -hmm. I want you to say Bloody Mary. No! <laughs> no! No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Look at it. Likes it. Look at it. Look. This is bad idea, bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I don't like this. That is terrifying. And that's a considerable amount of EMF that's pumping through there. I would say so. It's a lot of EMF. It's a lot of it. And again, Courtney, this is my office is right over the room where um, those two people were arguing, arguing about Easter services in church. That room with the Teen Center Derby sign in it. Where I saw people. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. So you're directly above history. that right now. Right. Yeah. Oh, I just got a pain in my hip. 
Yeah, it might be time because of the EMF inside that space for you to step out and go to a different space to get away from that. Right. It's a right. lot for you to physically That's have to deal with. If the basketball is already rolling around. If you stop saying that. Well, <laughs> but I have to move it. I have to you move have it to too Blocking the door. I have to move it to get out. I actually do like one of the comments somebody made about the basketball was the holy roller. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. I wonder if the basketball has EMF. Let's see. Well, it does now. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. You want to play the basketball or one of these? Oh, my God. Mm. Want to play ball? I would just love to show everyone what I heard because so I'm on the floor right now, right? Here's okay. here's where the ball is. Mm, you yeah. you're telling me it was all the way underneath this table. Yes. So it traveled all the way over here and did Hit this. The door. And many people are recording this show so we could replay it to hear that sound. And but that's a long way for that to travel. That's a long way for that to travel. I agree. And you have hit the door that hard. Yes. And rolled back to where. It rolled all the way back to here. Yeah. And it was still rolling when I looked at it. It's still moving. So can you take the ball and put it back under the table just to show people that the floor is not buckled or bowed? It's and not, the ball it's naturally rolls that way. Right. It's a cement floor. So. Just to debunk it as a possibility. Right. So that's how it was. And I can guarantee you I would have felt it. Like I didn't yeah. kick it. You would have known it if you had touched it. You would have felt it. Right. And I did. Wow. I did bump the table right before it happened, but I didn't bump the legs of the table. I bumped the top of the table. And I almost knocked my phone over because I bumped the top of the table. Yeah. But I mean, that, it, that whole way and then bounced back a little bit. Well, why don't we continue and get upstairs mm -hmm. to where I hear the real energy is? Oh, oh, because that's not real? <laughs> <laughs> no, not that's enough. not very real. Don't kid yourself. But Not enough supplies. <laughs> But Christy, isn't that true that uh, a lot of entity entities hang up out there? I, I think they do. Uh, I feel like it when I go up there that they like that area. It's fun for them. Right, it because you set fun. it up like a teen hangout area. There's couches. There's and, uh, there's the teen yeah. hangout. There's the billiards room. There's a lot of things upstairs that's going on. And it's a good place for them to go and enjoy people. Right. So then maybe, uh, Courtney, go to the lounge area upstairs first. The lounge Courtney. or the billiards? You lounge and then we'll go to the billiards after. Okay. Can you get out of my office? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and Kathy, I'm, I'm, are you in, where are you actually located at the moment? Right now I'm in the building, but I'm in a, in a, a different office. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And on the main floor, or are you um, on the main floor directly across from where her, she just was in my office? Oh, okay, yeah, got it, excellent. And uh, Richard Lell, how mm -hmm. many shadow figures have you painted now? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's getting more terrifying by the second. Are you identifying this? What you're on mute again, sir? No, mm -hmm. well, yeah, there, I fixed it. Uh, yes, there's, there are six, there are six of them and, uh, it's layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of time. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of spectral figures lurking in, in the foreground. 
Right. Because there is between 17 and 20 entities in this building now that theoretically came through time yeah. uh, over and over again as different buildings were in place. Yeah. So, Courtney, that looks like you are in the teen lounge area now. I am. And that is some spectacular lighting. I must yeah, say. I like it and it's going to stay on. <laughs> yes. I'm sure Patty would agree that that is uh, adequately dark enough. <sighs> so that's such a large room. Uh, Christy, do you have a, a recommendation or a suggestion of which area to go? Yeah. Um, one of the areas that I was drawn to, I'm, I'm thinking, uh, Courtney, it'll be right in front of you and over towards the corner between the wall yeah. and the window. Past the pink the corner or the other, the Bluetooth corner? The Bluetooth corner. Okay. I fully thought mm -hmm. the Bluetooth was going to turn on while it went, right when I came up here. Mm -hmm. I got... Yeah, right? So there's a lot of people in that space. I think that was the floor I heard. Mm. Or something. Okay. Mm -mm. Above me. Now, Courtney, this is directly above my office where you oh, are. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I can see my car from here. It's just, it's yeah. such an easy escape. I, I might run out the window. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long drop. You're on the second floor. Here. Mm. All right, okay. I put a chair. I figure if anyone would like to come hang out with me, mm. you could come sit in the chair. Can you guys see the meter? Yeah. Okay. Oh. What? My phone got tipped off. Not paranormally. Mm. Okay. Somebody said there was a man's voice as you went through the doorway. I thought I heard that too. Mm -mm. But I thought it was coming from someone else on the show. Did you hear a man's voice, Courtney? I did not. Okay. Again, everybody watching, hit record so we can review this. And of course, this will be on YouTube uh, after we have completed. So you can go and review it uh, time and time again. Anybody want to come sit in the chair and hang out with me? So somebody in the chat room suggested that you ask them if they can change the color of the strip light. If they know how to change the color from green to another color, maybe. I will need the bathroom. Um, all right. Yeah. If you're here, if do you know how to change the color of the lights from green to something else? If you do, can you show us your favorite color? Oh. And they're suggesting if you can tell them to turn it to red. Can you turn the lights on the wall to red? <clears throat> I will lose my ever. I hear footsteps. I hear something resembling footsteps. I feel it in the floor. What, mm -hmm. vibrating? Yes. Well, like they're probably coming to change the light colors. They're coming. Is she near the uh, staircase where you heard creaking that Saturday night, Kathy? No, she's actually on the opposite side of the building. Okay. 
So that that story, if you want me to tell you that story, I can. Well, it's just a haunted staircase and you were packing up. Right. Your footsteps. I was by myself and it started something walked down the stairs that night. It was pretty, pretty freaky. Is that what you're hearing, Courtney? No, it's not on the stairs. It's like up here with me, but like maybe on the other side mm. of the room or the wall. But it's like thumping, like someone's stomping with like big heavy boots on. Oh, like I can feel the floor vibrating. And it's not like the heat or the air or whatever is on right now, because I can hear that. And it's not happening right now either. If that's Kathy. your stop, you change the color of the lights to red. If you can stomp, can you knock? What was that? It was like someone did this. Like, can you knock? I feel like any second I'm going to see an explosion of activity. Like just. <laughs> I know I'm on the edge of my seat and I'm terrified. It's. Like just to give you a sense of. This is what I'm looking at. Hold on. And I just feel like I'm going to see people coming from every direction all of a sudden. Well, isn't it correct that uh, a head pops out of the pool room? Excuse me? <laughs> a short yeah. guy named Joe. Yeah. He's 5'3", and he uh, sits in the pool room and makes himself known from the other side of the hall. No, thank you. Yeah, well, why don't we go see if that's what you're anticipating? Dean, why don't you go see? Because... <laughs> And I'm here in Michigan. What am I supposed to do? Fly on the back of one of your flies and mm. come. Here. <clears throat> okay. Courtney, I'm the one that actually saw him. Oh God, so I I'm so sorry. Can I make this guy? And uh, ten years later, I asked Christy about him, mm -hmm. and she didn't know how tall he was, and she asked Frank, who you'll encounter. Oh yep. great. And and Frank told. Christy, that he was 5'3". I thought it was a teenager. I actually walked down the hall because I thought it was a teen. And yeah. now the maintenance man told me to tell you to investigate because he sees something poking his head out of the pool room. Oh. Oh, my what? God. I don't know. I just came around the corner, and I, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> right. So... So this is the billiards room. There's two billiard tables. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everything's mm -hmm. fine. We're fine. Is there anyone? Down that hall. Hello? Often. Oh. Okay. okay. Oh, my God. So what if you were to pick up one of the billiard sticks and break break the stack, break them? Okay. Um, oh, give, me that object. give me one second. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So I think when that was the police station, they told me that was the detective's room. Oh, I see. The yeah, office for the, the actual office. detectives. And that's directly above the um, where the conference room is. Right. Right, which was where the jail cells were. Right. 
Awesome. What is what is that, Courtney? Uh, my battery pack. Oh, are you running low on battery already? I am. What's that fully charged when you came in? One second, hold on. Okay, great. Here we go. All right. Did you upgrade to 17.4? Is that why your battery's? <laughs> no, it's because it's been running for quite some time. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Okay. While we're setting up, Richard Lell, you got seven figures there now. Is that correct? Oh, no, I have more than that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven of seventeen. Wow. You gonna try place them all? I don't know. We've got what, 15 minutes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Give it a shot, my friend. Maybe I will. Maybe, maybe they all need to get get a little place there. Spectacular. Okay, Courtney, pool cue mm -hmm. in hand. Take your best shot. Not very good at pool, but. Fantastic. Okay. What's your meter saying? Your shot. <laughs> your turn. You want stripes or solids? <laughs> I don't understand why your camera was moving. Oh, because I was walking? See Is that door? vibration that does it? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. So, yep. So, Christy. Oh, look at it. Oh. it up. <gasps> mm. So, Christy, when we first talked about Joe and Frank in this room, Mm -hmm. And you asked Frank how tall Joe was, and he said he was about 5'3", like I said. Mm -hmm. um, so I was talking to a police officer who is retired, and he worked in this building. Yeah. And he said there was um, a supervisor, police officer. His name was Joe. And he was a little bit of a, a prankster. Um, yeah, I believe so, that. Yeah. And I think you said that Frank called Joe a prankster too. Uh, yeah, he did. I did. So yeah, yeah. that kind of makes sense. It right. does make sense. Mm. That meter jump. Like, mm. Chill down my spine. So bad right now. <laughs> really? Yeah. I feel like the radio is going to turn on. I don't know. Like there's so much energy in this room. Yeah. And somebody says there's a male standing by the eight ball. Cool. To the left. <laughs> well, come on forward and take your shot, man. Are you? You can't let a girl beat you. <laughs> the best pool player we have in here is a girl. Mm-hmm. This is the room, I think, that I started asking uh, Frank about the train. Yes. What dream is that? No, a train. train. Oh, a train. train. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Is there a train track nearby? Yes, there's a train station, probably about <gasps> less, about a, a mile, I mean, less than a mile away, probably like three quarters mm. of a mile away. Wow. What is it, Courtney? The meter was all the way up. Yeah, I see that mention the train frank you gotta catch the go ahead yeah christy i think you said that he liked to listen to the air conditioner because it kind of it reminds like him of the train yeah yeah richard lale can you play a train whistle oh what is that noise <laughs> What am I, I hearing? Whatever. I thought that was a different one. Hold on. This one. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a commuter rail. Two and a half, band day 1916. Oh, okay, we're gonna... that's the wrong I, I, Why can't I just have yeah, a whistle? Got it. Okay, just a second. Oh, here we go. Maybe the uh, sound effect.
Wow, look at that. Spectacular. Of course, if your air conditioning sounds like that, I would suggest you get it looked at. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> but look at your meter go. Yeah. So that's Frank just reminiscing, sitting at the window. That's Frank in the pool room. Yeah. Loving the trains. Yeah. But you know what, Courtney? I wonder what it would be like if you moved from that table to the other table. Okay. If it would be the same interaction. Let's find out. Mm. Oh. What? It sounded like somebody walked after me. Yeah, because you're moving the equipment. Do it. Do it. You can do it, Courtney. Well, I'm at the other table now, but somebody walked with me. Yeah. Joe's right behind you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That meter's still going. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can break now. Your turn. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen your meter go that high. How do you feel, Courtney? I feel like tight in my chest. Uh huh. Yeah, uh -huh. Courtney, Courtney, that's right above where James was, right in that corner. Mm -hmm. James, you want to play some pool? Wow. That's like consistent. I know. I never seen it be so consistent. Like it it went off last week, but it didn't do this. No, not this long and not this sustained. Right. Well, Courtney, welcome to the Weymouth Teen Center. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like this every night? It's like this all the time when you're wow. there. Is there is this open to the public or is it just to people of Weymouth? Uh, it's just for the uh, students and the people in the town. But we're working on it, aren't we, Kathy? We are. We are. So what, what I was going to say at the beginning was about five years in being here, we started feeling like things were around. And, but, mm -hmm. but we were kind of joking, and we named our spirit Philip. That's, and we just kept every night would leave and would say, good night, Philip, because we knew something was going around. And like almost 20 years later, we invited Christy in and it's just been an amazing experience since she's been here. And we, now we know we're not going crazy. <laughs> but we've had, we've had so much happen. Mm -hmm. And I was worried, right, Christy? I kept saying, is she going to find anything? And yeah. I was still, yeah, I was yeah. worried. Oh, it's you were nervous time. on the initial yeah. walkthrough. Yeah. I remember walking through there with Kathy and everybody and just saying, just listen to what I'm telling you. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm just going to say what I'm going to say. Oh, and uh, we picked up a lot. We got a lot of information yeah. and it turns out it was true. So Yeah, and it's consistent. I can't believe this meter mm -hmm. doing this. I feel yeah, like no. something stabbing me yeah. in the kidney. Say that again, Courtney? I feel like something's stabbing me in the kidney. In the kidneys? Yeah. Like a sharp stabbing voodoo doll kind of thing? <laughs> like a doll, like something's wrong with my kidney and it's not the energy drinker that I just drank. Oh. Like That's I saw... <clears throat> Sometimes that's how I get information about who I'm dealing with is like what was wrong before they died. And it feels like it's a kidney thing. Oh. Oh. Huh. This is a different energy though than the other table. Christy's right. Yeah. It is, it is different. So it's amazing. Christy, I, I have a question for you. 
Yeah. Um, and I, I never even thought of this, but when we started doing the history of the, the place mm -hmm. and we found out it was a church, uh, way back at the beginning, I remember you saying those people in the basement were saying something was buried on the property. Do you yeah. think there could have been a graveyard on the property? No. No, okay. I don't think that. I, I just think that there are objects that they specifically buried in the ground there. I, I'm not going to say it's a time capsule, but I do think it's something that was valuable to them, and they just put it in the ground to hide it. That's all. Fantastic. All right. Awesome. Well, let's uh, close the show as we always do with some cleansing breaths mm. uh, led by Richard Lell. Richard Lell. Uh, wow. Look at that painting. Good. Fantastic. I, I think I have all of them. If I don't, then you're the 17th ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Spectacular. Thank you so much. And you can, of course, that's for sale uh, off your websites or yes. your Instagram. Just DM. Instagram is the best. Anyway, yes. Breathing techniques. Let's do that. Uh, Courtney, are you where you can turn on your light? Um, hold on. Let me get there. I'm going to turn on the light in the room. <laughs> You've been in the dark due to Patty's suggestions. Patty, of course, had to run off. So hopefully That's she... my thing about it is that she's like, oh, just be in the dark. Bye. Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First of all, um, I want to thank all of the spirits who've come through tonight. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having fun with us. Thank you for showing that you exist. And now we we say that you are welcome to wander. You can't follow any of, of us home. You can, however, kill some more flies in Dean's face. <laughs> but that's all dead. And all nothing that showed up tonight. Oh, no, we're that's not. That's the only thing you can do. Uh, <laughs> no one will follow anybody home. And now we'll take three cleansing breaths into the nose, out through the mouth, and we'll help us to center. And here we go. Oh. Oh. oh, spectacular. Thank you, Richard Lill. And thank you, Chris Parrish, for again uh, honoring us with your presence mm -hmm. and giving us the information and the background of this fantastic place. Kathy, uh, thank you again for <laughs> this <laughs> job site. Hard to believe that you've been there almost 25 years mm. and are still as sane as you are. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Courtney, you'll be reviewing uh, the comments, handing out a T-shirt for next week's show. And I'm glad we didn't see your doll very much tonight. That oh. creepy thing scares me. But that's not the same one. That picture yeah. is a different doll than yours. Oh, you're bringing it out? No, Courtney. She, she is nice. here. Not seeing it. No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just say? Because what? It's so mighty. Okay. So, yes. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, and again, thanks to everyone who joined us. Uh, remember, you can review everything you did if you recorded it. Uh, and if uh, stopping at certain parts, if you thought you heard voices, uh, you are part of this investigation. So, uh, send us anything that we missed throughout the show and we'd like to thank everyone for participating we will see you next week i think uh at a new place i'm not even sure where but it's the alley theater. where the alley theater oh the alley theater is that next week that's oh, next week spectacular mm. the alley theater for next friday for another episode of scared and alone i'm dean Haglin. thank you everybody have a great night it's good to see you Get out. Die. What? It's a die. Get out. Die. Die. Oh my God. Oh, and it's like the same okay. voice, too. It is the same voice. It's yeah. the same tone. Maybe oh Maybe we should get out of that room. Yeah. He was lighting up and it said, Get out or die. I don't know. Get out or die. Get out or die. Get out or die. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, what happened, Courtney? You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I don't know. Like there was something flying. What do you mean flying? A bat? Whoever's here and interacting with me, are you trying to bring me up to the second floor? Look at it move. Listen, I can see it on this, but it's not really doing it in person. What, I'm imagining that? I'm also hearing it.
some sort of voice. At night, when they open back up in the morning, that doll was in a different part of the store. Go red. Oh, Go red. no. It's, oh, jeez. There's the car moving around. Why is it moving by itself? People are smelling embalming fluid. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's saying you're not safe. David, how do you feel? Are you okay? No, no, I, I'm not okay. Ask them if they're ready to go to war. And uh, this is the spheres that I heard something and you can really listen to, you can hear how creaky they are. So when I was in the downstairs, oh, wow. I heard something walking down these stairs. And again, they don't move unless something's and, on it. 